Hello and welcome to Project Reboot at the Scrap Store in Swindon. Today I'd like to talk about when you donate your computers and laptops to Project Reboot, what happens to them, is it secure, is your valuable data going to be wiped successfully. So this morning, conveniently, we've got Craig coming in from Grange Infant School with some computers and laptops and we're going through the whole donation process, what we do, what we log, and the eventual, eventual creation of a uh, data sanitization certificate at the end of the process so Craig can have confidence that we've wiped all that data securely. Okay, so we stripped the hard drives out of the PCs and laptops and now I'm going to book these onto my database. So here we are at our log record, donation ID number 266, Craig from Grange Infant School. Uh, four desktops, actually we've only got four laptops, so our total hard drives is eight. Save that. And the bottom section here, we can now add the hard drive serial numbers. Okay, so all the hard drives have now been logged into the database, Reboot Tracker, which I wrote. And we're going to put all these into the wiping rig now. So here is wipe station 2. Now this has got four um, 3.5 inch hard drive bays and four 2.5 inch laptop drives. So by coincidence, we've got the right number of 2.5 inch laptop drives four of, to go, and also to go three and a half inch bays as well for our other four drives. Now I've noticed here we have a two terabyte drive. Now that's likely to take quite a long time, perhaps 20 hours to wipe. Here we go, let's load these in. One, oh, one of them is failing, I can hear it clicking. It's not a good sign. Wiping all eight at a time is a bit of a double-edged sword. It can either save you a lot of time by doing them all at once, however, if one of them comes up with an unresolvable error that the wiping process cannot resolve, it can freeze the whole lot. Right, it turns out that the two terabyte drive is indeed failing. Couldn't get a read on that one. So, on screen we have seven hard drives lined up there. The top one is the, is the boot drive and the other seven drives are all listed in Device Manager. Okay, so we've got our seven drives here in uh, Computer Management, Disk Management. So let's fire up Active Kill Disk Professional. This is paid software and this will scan the drives. Here we are, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drives. Kill. So as I said earlier, uh, I'm using British HMG, IS5 Enhanced InfoSec 5, three passes. That's zeros, ones, and random characters, and then it does a 10% verify after that. So I know that this is going to take quite a long time to run. So I'm going to click Save Log and Shut Down PC. So this will close itself down in a few hours overnight, and then we'll come back in the morning and we'll see how we've got on. Hopefully it has shut down and we've got ourselves a log file which I'll show you in the morning. So here we go, start. Off it goes. That will take a few minutes to settle down, stew away and do its business. Okay, so Active Kill Disk has been running for 24 minutes, another two and a half hours to go roughly came in this morning, the wiping rig is off, which is good news, which means our seven drives have wiped successfully. Right, so on screen here we have the kill disk log from wipe station 2. Started at 
15.05, five minutes past three. And here it lists all the hard drives with the serial numbers. And each block here shows you pass one, pass two, pass three, and its verification and how long it took. In this case, well, it started, it finished at, what was this? This was a 250 gig drive and it finished at 5 o'clock, which is approximately 2 hours. Anyway, so there's all our 7 drives. So we take that now and put it into our, back into our database. Here's our storage units. So, the first, so for each one of these, um, it now retrieves the, log the, the section of the log file relating to that serial number. Thus, so there we are. Complete save. So it's just a case of going through each one of these now and matching the two together. So that is all the um, log file uh, imported into the database. And now I'm going to set the status to wipe complete. Save that. And now I can show you the wipe certificate that will eventually get emailed back to Craig to complete the circle. So I'll just do a print on that and you can see it on screen then. So here it is, Project Reboot Data Sanitization Certificate, March 30th, certificate number 266, eight hard drives. And as you can see, here's a log activity against each serial number. And there's uh, seven, eight entries. Here's our bad disk there, goes on to two pages. And that gets emailed back to Craig. And the process is complete. Job done.